Hi guys, it's Luke from Beard Tech here. Today we're doing a third tech review on our channel. This time it is a smartphone, the Nokia Lumia 635. This came out in 2014. It's one of their flagship mid-range sort of budget uh, smartphones. It has some great features. Windows 8.1. It's fluid. It's swift. It's quick. And if you know someone that needs a budget smartphone, this would be one to check out online to buy for them. Have a look at it. It's brilliant. Let's check out the review, see the pros and cons, and if it's worth your money. Let's have a look right now. Red. The Nokia Lumia, released in 2014, is a bright, swift, and fun addition to any phone enthusiast's pocket. Its design is slim, compact, non-intrusive, and lightweight. Because Nokia knows their solid phone design from previous years in their glory days as the mobile phone kings in the early 2000s and late 1990s, the Lumia series built on this great combination of value and power in their devices. The screen on the Nokia Lumia 635 is 4.5 inches, which feels a little small when watching something online that's meant to be large, but it is crisp because of the size, and the three brightness settings make it acceptable in any lighting condition, including outdoors in full brightness. Its resolution is 480 by 854 pixels, and at 221 pixels per inch it's hard to make out any flaws in the display because it's hiding the lack of detail so well with the size. It's detailed, does the job, and colors are represented well. It's a treat. The phone has simple controls, a volume rocker on the right, a screen on and off button under this, and on the bottom a micro USB charging port for connecting to your PC also. The cover can be swapped out for different colors, but I love black so I went with it. The phone itself feels a little plasticky and creaky, but this is because of the price point. Nokia Lumia phones are not metal body flagship killers, they're unique mid-range devices aimed at wowing without the fluff of more modern devices. I've dropped this thing about 10 times and it has never cracked, just shot the battery out like an ejected pilot from a plane. Windows 8.1 Denim is what my device came with, and it's attractive. The highly customizable home screen with its lively tiles makes you want to open up everything you see. It's alive with movement, and each tile can be moved around where you like, and the parallax scrolling background you can alter makes the phone yours immediately. It's amazing. Everything runs smoothly with Windows at the helm, and while it cannot compete with iOS for stability or Android for customizability, the general feel of it is splendid and quick. 512 meg of RAM doesn't seem like much for today's standards, but with this phone it helps it zip along nicely. Rarely does anything struggle to keep up, as long as only one or two apps at the most are open. The navigation app called Here is superb, it's fast and responsive, it's gotten me to all of my locations with no hiccups. It's not Google Maps, but perfectly fine for car trips. The simple menus work well and the proprietary apps are brilliant. It really is a great alternative operating system and it makes phone use fun. Windows clean, modern and sleek font and contrast makes readability a breeze with menus and navigating the device also. Everything stands out. Storage is a bit of an issue with only 8 gig available, but this is expandable with a micro SD card slot. I ran out of space when I first had this phone with only a few albums and about three large games on the device, so this is a must. The phone ships with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 400 processor at 1.2 GHz. This is sufficient for daily tasks, email, media streaming, and light gaming. Heavy gaming this phone does not do, but I've played Tentacles of the Mind smoothly for 30 minutes, Crossy Road is absolutely fine, as well as Rail Rush and other Windows Store games, and the graphical fidelity is left intact, and the frames don't chug much. It's capable of time waster titles for young and old. This phone also comes with a virtual assistant Cortana, Windows answer to Apple's Siri and Samsung's offering Bixby, and can produce some amazing tricks and jokes for kids as well as some great tasks like voice to text and voice controlling reminders of any kind, including pick picking up groceries at a particular time or setting a reminder whenever you want. You can even turn on Wi-Fi with your voice. Cool stuff. One letdown I cannot shake with this phone is the camera. Yes, it shoots clearly in broad daylight, but there's only one camera, and it has no flash. It does have some manual controls, but I don't see the point when it is only 5 megapixels and can only do so much with this sensor. 
They're social media worthy, yes, and with post editing they do look good, but it's too limited. Low light is a no-no with this camera. It's grainy, blurry, ugh. The video shoots at 720p at its max, and it's adequate to the task of quickly capturing something on the fly, but it's shaky, raw, and rugged. No stabilization here. Here's some photo examples, followed by some video shot purely with the Lumia 635 camera. The speakers are also a little bit tinny, but they are loud enough for video viewing whilst doing the dishes. My regularity. The battery is 1830 milliamp hours, but my experience with the device over the years is that it's lasted an entire day easily if it's just simply emails, calls, light reading, social media, and some YouTube. The screen brightness turned down also helps with this. Overall, the phone is a superb entry level device for those who want a reliable, fast organizer and media streamer that won't slow down. It's certainly not built for multitasking or heavy gaming and other heavy tasks, but it's been my go-to device for years now and it's never been frustrating on any level, apart from the camera aspect. It's light, fun, fluid and perfect these days as a cheap buy for someone looking at entering the smartphone market who's never used one before and needs something they can count on to do the job that's easy to learn and has deep enough features to master as well. I give this device four beards out of five. I've been Luke from Beard Tech. Thank you very much for watching this review of the Nokia Lumia 635. Check it out on eBay. You will find a bargain on this because of its age but I highly recommend it. It's swift, it's fast, it's bright, and Windows 8.1 is just fun. They've made the menus fun, and it begs you to use the phone. So like this video, click the like button, subscribe, click that subscribe button, and we can make more videos like this. More reviews, more tech stuff, more music gear reviews. I'm reviewing the LD Systems Maui 5 very soon, my go-to acoustic and microphone musical setup. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you hit that share button if you know anyone that wants to have a look at a wonderful smartphone that's a little bit older. You've been the audience. I've been Luke from Beer Tech. Have beer-tastic fun. See you in the next one, guys.